get the latest comprehensive breakdown of the biggest news stories from Western Visayas and around the globe. I am Joseph Diamante and this is Panay News Wrap Up. The cities of Iloilo and Bacolod remain under medium risk modified general community quarantine at least until the end of the month just like the rest of Western Visayas. The Interagency Task Force on Emerging Infectious Diseases approved the appeal of Mayor Jerry Trenas and Mayor Evilio Leonardia. Iloilo Province, Negros Occidental, and Capiz retained their medium risk MGCQ status until July 31. Guimaras, Aklan, and Antique, meanwhile, moved up to medium risk MGCQ after being placed under low risk MGCQ the past 15 days. Under medium risk MGCQ, strict local action is to be implemented, including zoning, localized community quarantine, strict enforcement, or minimum health standards and scale-up of health systems. Most of the COVID-19 cases in Iloilo province are not indigenous or locally transmitted. They are mostly locally stranded individuals. Governor Arthur Defensor Jr. stressed of this while calling on the National Task Force Against COVID-19 to extend the moratorium on the return of Ilongo stranded elsewhere around the country. The moratorium on the LSI's return took effect on June 28. The government made it clear that while the provincial government wants stranded Ilongos back, the LSI's should also make sure they are virus-free to protect their respective homes. Two healthcare workers and an employee of the Western Visayas Medical Center in Mandoriao District tested positive for COVID-19. Four areas of the hospital were immediately locked down on July 15 to stop the virus from spreading. Of the three infected personnel, one was a nurse assigned in a non-COVID emergency room, one was a radiologist, and another was an institutional worker. According to Dr. Stephanie Abelio, chief pathologist of the WVMC Subnational Laboratory, they temporarily sealed off the St. Anthony Ward, St. Augustin Ward, portions of the non-COVID emergency room and radiology department to allow decontamination and restrict movement while contact Raising as ongoing. The whole Iloilo province is under a modified general community quarantine medium risk, except for the town of Alimudian, which has extended further its enhanced community quarantine. Alimudian recorded 10 more cases of COVID-19 on July 15, supposedly the last day of its ECQ which started on June 30. Eight of the new cases are locally stranded individuals. Alon Sabe did not set the date when the ECQ would end. He said this would depend on the results of the repeat tests of the 10 cases. Alimudian previously had 14 COVID-19 cases, eight already recovered as of July 16. And those were this week's latest headlines. This is Panay News, the number one digital and printed news in the region.